Hello everybody. Uh, today is Friday and we've made it through another week. Uh, today we continue our, our daily Psalms for hope and we're looking at Psalm 119. Uh, today we're starting at verse 65 and going to verse 80. So get out your Bibles and let's look at what the uh, psalmist has to say. It says, You have dealt with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The insolent smear me with lies, but with my whole heart I keep your precepts. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteous that, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your steadfast love comfort me according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the insolent be put to shame, because they have wronged me with falsehood. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, that they may know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. <clears throat> well, this is, a, this, is a, this is a good one uh, to consider. Um, Lots of, lots of good little nuggets uh, in, in this one. I, I was gra gravitating toward uh, verse 71. It says, it is good for me that I was afflicted that I might learn your statutes. Then in, uh, like, uh, in verse 67, he says, before I was afflicted, I went astray. So you get the picture that the psalmist kind of you know, forgot about God a little bit, maybe. Uh, life got in the way of his relationship with his Lord. Uh, that happens to us all, sometimes, sometimes a lot. Um, I know it does to me. Um, but it was, it, it's interesting that you see, you know, it was affliction. It was something that went wrong in his life that drew him back to his God. Uh, you know, I look at this pandemic, I look at all the things that have happened since March of last year, and, uh, you know, the, the, the first thing my mind goes to is, look at, look at what has happened to relate my, you know, my individual relationship with God. You know, all of this has, has brought me closer uh, to him, it has gotten us has gotten us into the Word, right? Um, and and that speaks volumes to me because uh, in in sometimes are the things that afflict us, the the things that trouble us, the things that are hard for us in life to get through. Sometimes those are the things that draw us closer to Him. That. That, that let us try to find something more than ourselves or other people or other things to help uh, get us through it. And we are drawn back to him. And, and, and I like the, you know, it, it is good for me that I was afflicted that I might learn your statutes. He says, before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. So, this, this whole idea of, of in affliction coming to him and, and, and letting that word speak to us uh, is, is, is a very powerful image uh, because that's when God does his best. You know, I've always said uh, that God does his best work uh, in the desert. I mean, it was certainly true with the Israelites. Uh, God did his best work. Uh, when they were, when they had to rely on him, which, which, it, it amazes me how hard that lesson is for us sometimes, uh, because I know for me, it, if we just relied on him all the time, uh, what could we avoid? 
what, what afflictions could we avoid? Because it looks like the psalmist says, before I was afflicted, I went astray. I, 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 I veered off. Uh, I, I got off the path uh, of my relationship with the Lord. But it was, my, it was the affliction that brought me back to him, that brought me back to the word, to hear the promises of God. I, I, it's not that I wish for affliction, but sometimes affliction causes me to go back to him, to, 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 to find my roots. And maybe you're in that position right now. Uh, and I encourage you to to go back to him. He's, he, he, he's calling us in the midst of all of this to draw closer to him. You know, it's, I, I've often referred to it as God's nudgings, uh, that, that in these states of affliction, he is nudging us to get back into a relationship with him because that is where the promise is. That's where our hope is. That's where the strength uh, comes from. Um, you know, the, sometimes afflictions do that to us. Not that we wish for them, but sometimes they're needed uh, to get us back into a relationship with him. So I hope that, that helps a little bit today, uh, certainly to carry you into the weekend and, and just uh, hope that, you know, you get a chance to worship him this weekend and, and, and let him know that uh, you do value the relationship that you have with him, that you do value uh, you know, him in his promises to you uh, by getting into his word, by uh, worshiping him and praying to him. And so uh, may God's blessings be upon you this weekend and be a blessing whenever and wherever you can. Until the next time.